why do labral tears occur? I want to break it down for you in three easy categories. So number one, we know that that labrum sits on the socket of the hip joint and then the rest of the hip joint is created from this ball, which is the head of our femur and it goes into the hip joint. That labrum is the nice fibrocartilaginous or rubbery structure that increases the congruency of the hip joint. It can be torn from a really aggressive fall or trauma to the hip. So there's an aggressive force that causes a tear somewhere along the labrum. That's number one. Number two can just be general wear and tear. There are a heck of a lot of people that are walking around with labral tears that have absolutely no idea. They're part of team labral tear, don't care, and they don't even know it. Last one is number three. This can be something that you're having incessant rubbing of the head of your femur against a certain portion of your labrum creating breakdown over time, but it might be expediated from that just general wear and tear that group number two is experiencing. This might be something more like you got really into running and then there's a portion of the labrum that is being worn down or you started sitting in a new position and then that portion of the labrum is worn down. It's like faster wear and tear that is maybe not correlated with stuff like osteoarthritis and wear and tear as we get older and older. I would say if you fall into category one, getting an MRI and getting it looked at is going to be probably the best thing to do. These are people that are the best candidates for surgery, in my opinion. Number th number two, the people that have no idea, just keep living your life. Like you can live a full and prosperous life with a labral tear. And then category number three, what I would do is I would find a specialist. I would find someone that is a physical therapist and they love treating hips. You could reach out to me even and figure out what is it that you're doing that is causing that repetitive stress on that structure of the labrum. For example, it could be as simple as you sprained your ankle so many times, you have poor ankle stability and then up the chain into the leg, it's causing incessant rubbing on, rubbing on the anterior surface of your labrum. Or it could be something in your landing mechanics, something that you can clean up that patterning increase your stability around your hip and then potentially avoid surgery overall. So those are the three categories. Reach out if you have any questions, save this one, share it to people if you feel like it's helpful and comment if you have any questions.